All right, howdy y'all, I'm Rusty. I'm uh, here today with a big Agnes Tiger Wall tent, and I'm gonna do a review of it. Um, my review is gonna be in the perspective of a through hiker. I used the tent on the CDT for about a month and a half. Uh, I used it uh, alone as a one-person tent, and I'm gonna kinda do my review in that way. So, I've used uh, Big Agnes tents for two through hikes. Um, I used the Big Agnes Jackrabbit 2 for uh, the PCT, and then I also used that for half the CDT, and then halfway through I changed to this, the Tiger Wall. Um, I was really impressed by this tent just because of the weight, uh, and like all the Big Agnes tents, I almost look at them kind of being generic. They all kind of just set up really easily and really user friendly and color coded um, buckles and stuff. This tent, I think it's one of the lightest tents I got now, a little a little over two pounds. But like I said, uh, I'm reviewing this as a one person tent, even though it's meant to be for two people. I don't actually think that two people would be comfortable in a tent this size for a through hike. Um, I've met people who do do that and it just looks really tight. I know personally I like a little uh, extra space and uh, you know when it's raining really hard I like to actually bring my backpack inside my tent instead of having it in the vestibule where we get running water under, underneath you. So yeah basically I mean I set, I set up on one side of the tent and a lot of times I have my gear sprawled out on the other side and it's just really comfortable. Um, they've taken out a lot of the nylon and then added in a lot more bug mesh. So that took a lot of the weight out and also just like a lot more breathability inside of it. You have a double point zip system. So you zip one up and then one to the side. That's something I did not like at first. My old tent had one big zipper that kind of came around. But actually when the tent got old, about seven years old, the zipper started messing up right around in there, right where the, the zipper was sewn into the curve. So actually having actually having these two zippers meet at that hard angle, I actually I kind of I kind of grew on me. One thing I do do not like about this tent, which is kind of a biggie for me, is that when you're unzipping unzipping this rain fly, since its its breaking point is in the middle, when this is wet and there's snow on it and there's weight, and also when there's wind coming. I'm gonna open this up in the rain, and all of a sudden, it's gonna blow right into my tent. And all that water and snow is coming right into my tent, just out of nowhere. Another thing I don't like too much about the rain fly is when you try to buckle it back, kinda of let it go, it doesn't, the problem is it doesn't go with the curve of the door. So you have this whole thing right here. So when you're kinda of getting into that tent, you don't have that room. I mean, this guy, if it was kinda of up here somewhere, so you could kind of get that full opening of the door. I would like that a lot better. All right, so I'm inside the tent and uh, I'm about 5'11", and I have uh, I have more than enough room on the top and the bottom. Um, I really like the back wall of the tent. It's got a, a really a really steep angle to it, so it's not coming up, and I, when I sit up, I'm not hitting my head on it. I have more than enough room to just sit up and move around and just never actually touch the walls of the tent. Um, uh, the inside of the tent is pretty simple. They do have they do have some uh, pocket, you know, a pocket above your head, and two pockets on the sides. Uh, I'm in this tent alone. I have my gear spread out all over the place. I'll rarely just put something up there. Maybe a wet pair of socks. Um, yeah, I mean you have headphone ports and stuff like that. The mountain clothes going all through the tent. It really does not weigh that much for what it is. Uh, I lose my headlamp all the time in my tent and just to be able to reach up and just turn my mountain glow on and just find what I need to do. The great thing about the two wall tents is uh, when I wake up after a rainy night, I can take the dry tent and I, I like to stick it in a stuff sack. And then usually I can just take, take my wet rain fly, crumple it up and stick it on the outside of my pack and it will kind of drip dry a little bit. And then when I get to lunch, I have it right there. I take it off, dry it out. It's the big Agnes tent packed up and uh, actually I mean it goes a lot smaller once it's in your pack and it's squished down. Alright that was my review of the big Agnes Tiger Wall. Uh, if you like the video subscribe.